We've just heard from England manager Gareth Southgate, um, in particular, a, a number of different questions being thrown at him, Mr Jennings, but I think the biggest one was uh, about the St George's flag on the back of the England shirts. You, you heard what Gareth Southgate had to say. We're going to try and play out a bit of that audio a, a bit later as well. But your initial take on his response to it, again, England manager here, has played for England as well. He understands how important and what St George's flag on the back of an England shirt means to a lot of England fans. Your take on it? I thought it was very passive and very apathetic. I think that he was trying to be cryptic in the way that he approached the situation. He started talking about other things. He said that it isn't a flag anyway, it's just an artistic impression. Mm. No, no, that's the part of the shirt where the England flag is often stitched. That's what it represents. That part of the the shirt is synonymous with an England flag these days. So the fact that he tried to to deflect and start talking about the three lines. It's not really about St. George's flag anyway. It's about three lines. I think he's a company man. I think he's saying what he should say. And I think that everybody at the FA will be incredibly impressed with the way that he handled that. Uh, he said uh, not high on his list of priorities. Well, it should Bear be. in mind, England have got a game against Brazil tomorrow, a friendly game. Sh- sh- that should be number one, I think right? it should or be this- high on his priority. Look, I, don't, I think that this whole thing has probably been blown out of proportion. I find it hard to be too animated about it myself. I think it's very odd when you think of the state of the country, you've got Rishi Sunak getting involved and you've got Keir Starmer getting involved. I don't think that's necessary. Mm. I don't think it should be high on their priority list. But I do think it should be high on the England manager's priority list. Of course I do. The fact that the fact that the England kit and the, the flag and what the flag represents has been toyed with by a conglomerate. Of course Gareth Southgate should care about this. All right, I do think we have the audio now of of uh, what Gareth Southgate had to say exactly about when asked a question, sorry, about the flag on the back of the kit. Let's take a listen to exactly what Gareth Southgate said. I don't know if the debate is about the St George flag needing to be on the England shirt because obviously it hasn't always been. Um, I think the most important thing that has to be on an England shirt are the three lions. It's our iconic symbol. It, what, it is what distinguishes us not only from football teams around the world, but from England rugby and England cricket. It's the thing that when I put my kit on at Burnham Beaches 30 years ago and looked in the mirror, I clearly don't look at my face too often when I do that. Um, But the three lions really stood out. So, yeah, then I suppose what you're really asking is, should we be tampering with the cross of St George? In my head, if it's not a red cross on a white background, then it isn't the cross of St George anyway. You know, you know, what I find really interesting, and again, look, we'll, we'll we'll get your reaction to exactly what he had to say. What I find really interesting is with anything in life, especially when it comes to changing logos or flags, there are think tanks everywhere, isn't there? Mm. There are think tanks, and it would have gone through someone, it would have gone through to a board, then it would have gone to the FA, and then Gareth would have had his say on it as well. So it's gone through several important key decision makers. Mm. And still, they've done it. And still, they thought, you know what, it's okay. No, but that's because it's been done for 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 certain reasons that chime with the agenda of certain people. It's not it's not a mistake that this has happened. It's not a mistake that this furore is happening. It's not a mistake that this debate has gone to the very top. I think this is this is part of the this is part of the agenda. This is what was supposed to happen. Uh, I have a statement here. The FA have released a statement defending the decision with a spokesperson saying the New England. Uh, 2024 home kit has a number of design elements which were meant to be a tribute to the 1966 World Cup winning team. The coloured trim on the cuffs is inspired by the training gear worn by England's 66 heroes and the same colours also feature on the design of the back of the collar. This is obviously uh, the, the, the topic in question. It is not the first time that different colours St George's Cross inspired designs have been used on England shirts. We're very proud of the red and white St George's Cross, the England flag. We understand what it means to our fans and how it unites and inspires. And it will be displayed prominently at Wembley tomorrow, as it always is when England play Brazil. You cannot have a different colour St George's Cross. Yeah, That doesn't make sense. It's, it's ridiculous what the FA are doing. And the fact that Gareth Southgate has come out and been so lukewarm about this and tried to spin... The whole situation. Like, I have a lot of respect for Southgate mm. because a lot of what I like about him is, is, that, is this kind of thing. He's fires. patriotic. He's very but good also, he's, 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 often, he's often said the right things and been very patriotic. He has said, he's been a company man here. He's saying what he should say. He's saying exactly what Nike would want him to say and he's saying exactly what the FA would want him to say. What's happened here is the, the flag and the emblem that represents the England national team has been toyed with and amended for the furtherance of a conglomerate from America. That's what's happened. So Gareth Southgate has come out and totally towed the party line. And it's a liberty, like I say. 
He says, this isn't really my issue and the three lines are more important. That's not really the point. That isn't the point at all. You're asked, how do you feel about the flag being amended for the furtherance of a conglomerate from America? So answer that question. Say how you feel about that. Are you happy that the St. George's Cross has been amended and changed and toyed with for an American company? Is that okay? Don't deflect and go, do you know what, actually? Let's talk about the three lines because that is cowardly. And it's another, you know, I've always thought that Gareth Southgate's incredibly cowardly as a manager, but not as a man. This is poor form from him. All right, what did you make of Gareth Southgate's comments? The phone lines are open, 03717 So Let's go to Dave in Liverpool. Dave, um, your thoughts on it. You probably heard Gareth Southgate's comments as well. So your thoughts first and Gareth Southgate's reaction to it. Well, it's just toying the party line, isn't it? That's all he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's, that, that's all he's doing. The lad on the show there, he's absolutely right. It said he's he's just he's just being a mouthpiece. He's it's absolutely nonsense. You get a country's flag, if our, our flag red and white, that's what should be on that flag, and that's it. If they want to put purple on something, put it on something, but don't change a flag. Mm, yeah. It's what it's our it's, it's a representation of our country, and that's kind of what you've been alluding to, isn't it, Rory? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. That's what Rory's saying. I've, I've been listening to the radio, and I thought. Well, he's talking sense. It's absolutely nonsense. Yeah. What do you think is the motivations here, Dave? Why is this happening? I well, I don't know. It's like it's like Rory said. It's just it's an agenda thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, they're probably wanting to get people involved in it. From you know, I mean. And what did you think of Gareth Southgate's handling? What did you think of his wording there? Well, I think he's wrong. Mm. That's what I think he is. I think he's wrong. What he should have said. If he was man enough, he should have said they shouldn't have made any colour other than red and white on the back of that shirt for that flag. That, that's it, really, any, isn't it? That, if that's if the, anything, that's the answer. If anything about him, that's the answer. That's the answer. Like, you know what? They, they shouldn't have changed it. They've made a mistake. They're going to revert yeah. back to what it was that, that, initially and everyone exactly, move on. That's yeah. exactly what he should have said. He should have just had the, you know... Because the motivation can only be political. Like, there's no there's no benefit to doing this for the football team. Like, the fans no of the football team, there's no benefit to anybody here. Well, this is... you know, what, what, what people should do is just not buy any of them shirts. I know. Well, do you know what? Do you know what? That's that's interesting. You mentioned that, Dave, because the other conversation that we that we're not having here is yeah. which we would have been having if this wasn't the issue is the disgraceful pricing of this kit. I know. It's £125. £125. In a cost of living crisis. I know. I know. It's ridiculous. But the thing is, is people are mourn about it, but there's still people who go and buy it, and that, that's that's completely up to them. But the biggest thing, the biggest objection you can do with that shirt is not buy it. Mm. Yeah, indeed. I, I think the worst thing... Uh, Dave, appreciate the call. I think the worst thing right now that's happening is that none of us are even talking about the match. It's a fantastic match, by the way. England versus Brazil, and all of a sudden... The biggest talking point has been oh, no. it's been overshadowed by this. Let's welcome in Joseph, uh, Manchester United fan. Joseph, you've been listening in. Um, you heard Gareth there. You just heard what Dave said. You've been hearing what Rory Jennings has had to say as well. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I just think it sums up everything that's going on at the minute. Southgate's a bottle job. <laughs> Typical Southgate, just, just avoiding the question. And they just don't want us to be proud of the English anymore. That's why they took it off. What, what would you have wanted him to say? Like, what's the, what's the proper you- answer? You can tell what he really thinks, can't you? That it should have just been left as it is, the normal England flag. I agree. I agree, Joseph. Do you know there was a there was a moment in the Southgate in the Southgate wording where you could tell he, that he, he what, agreed. What he to say, yeah. But he yeah. but but he he, he he didn't take the opportunity. He's he didn't yes take man. the opportunity to tell he's the a truth. Yes man. Yeah. He's, but, al- he's always been a yes man. He's not going to say against what the FA think. That's who pays him. He got the bottle. You know, there's part of me that, that feels sorry for Gareth here because y- y- I understand what Joseph's saying, but there's been some fires that, that Gareth's put out and it's worked wonders. Well, he's been very political, but it's worked, right? He's been good as an England manager. He's been that focal point. In this one, he's probably avoided something, avoided saying something, just because, as Joseph says, he's a yes man. Because, he, because the FA don't want him to say it. Because Nike don't benefit from him saying it. Yeah. yeah. I, lo- I like Southgate as a manager. Well. I think he's done a brilliant job for England. Last couple of tournaments, mm. best we've had in fucking years. I was saying, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's been all good. A, a quick one on the game tomorrow. Remember, there is a game tomorrow. What do you think, England Brazil? Um, I fancy us. I fancy us. I think Brazil's not as good as they used to be. Obviously, Bellingham, 
We've got May New come in. I think this is the best chance England's got had in years. Mm. Yeah, all right. Uh, Joseph, appreciate it. Uh, again, look, as much as this is an important conversation, I, fa- I hate the fact that we're actually having to have this conversation because mm-hmm. I really wanted just all this to be about England, Brazil, England, Brazil, do, do you know England, Brazil. Do you know what's such a shame as well? I think Gareth Southgate, over his tenure in the England job, has often portrayed himself, and rightly so, as a man of integrity, like an honourable man. He's led from the front. He's been outspoken. And he had an opportunity here to say the correct thing. And I really think that he's missed that opportunity. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.